What is up guys, this is Kiran here. Welcome back again to Tech Kiran YouTube channel. Talking about the ROM which has come features and is based on Android version 11. This one is called AICP Custom ROM, you can see. And this one is based on Android version 11 for Redmi Note 8 users. And you can use this ROM on a device as a daily driver for sure. It has a very cool kind of battery backup. The performance is quite good. Also includes some little bit features also, which are those features. How's the battery backup? How's the performance? Everything in this video. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started. Guys, this room comes with the Android 11 for Redmi Note 8 users. Let me show you by going into about phone and going to Android version. You can see it's based on Android version 11 with the latest November security patch and it has some little bit of customizations which includes the fonts change, some ASIN color changes. By default, if you install this build, you'll see very ugly look. I have tried it and you'll see very kind of bad kind of look here. The icons were not good. The UI was not great actually. The wallpaper was not good too. But you can customize this build, this build like a pro. You can use Magisk modules for that. Like in my case, I'm using Oxygen OS Launcher right now. And you can see I'm using OnePlus widget. Everything I have already customized because the one was not looking good. If you install this build for first time, you'll never be satisfied because the UI was not good at all. That's why I've customized that to show you. I can, I'm using the OnePlus launcher here, which has a very cool kind of thing. Also, the best thing about this build is, which I've noticed so far, is the performance. The performance is not laggy at all. I'm not saying it's best and it's just great and no room can beat this, but it is quite good. It's very good for the daily use. If you want to use Android 11 for a daily use, then this build can be usable for you. Also, if we talk about the battery backup, first of all, let me show you my Franco Kernel battery stats. Active drain, approximately 6% per hour, which is not actually bad. It's quite good. Idle drain is actually 2% per hour, which is kind of disappointing, but it's not a kind of that. Screen on 1 hour and 8 minute 53 seconds from the 77%, it's 65%. And you can see from 77 to 65, I have the screen on time of 1 hour and approximately 10 minutes. Screen off 3 hours and 16 minutes, which means quite good and also the deep sleep three hours and one minute three hours was a deep sleep and normal was three hours and 16 minutes 15 minute awake and screen on is one hour and nine minute which is quite good so if you want to check out this build for your battery backup it's quite good if it over performance it's quite good this is one of the best rooms out there for admin noted users in the terms of android version 11 the default ui will not be good but you can customize with like a very cool kind of things also let's take a look at some little bit of features here I can use the kernel manager here I'm using the Franco kernel manager which has the option to customize your kernel and if you go for the default kernel let me show which is the default kernel which you get here by going to here and go to about Android version you'll see a kernel version is a surge v1.1 Pegasus so this might be the newest one kernel, newest kernel here so that's why it has a very cool kind of battery backup and ASAP does not include many features so that's why you can see the performance is quite good too including the battery backup if you go to the ASAP extras we have have this simple kind of app available which has some little bit of customizations let me show which customizations it includes so first of all it includes the recent panel customizations which includes the slim recents if you're a fan of slim recents you can apply that i'm honestly not a fan of recents at all so if you go for other things we have the status bar related customizations where you can enable the aicp logo on the status bar if you want to and if you go here you can also choose the style of other aicp logos which includes a male female woman google ghost some little bit of things available if you are a fan of logos on your status bar i sometimes don't use them so i will not use this at all we have the battery bar related customizations if you don't like this battery at your status bar you can simply use the battery bar on your status bar if you want want to also include some lock screen customization just include the lock icon on the lock screen as i already told you does not include many customizations has some customization some cool and better and most usable things are available like the themes which should be available which is available that's why i love this build because it has this themes customizations first of all icon pack customization you can choose the failed one i am the person i'm person the lover of failed one icon packs that's why i am using this one icon shape by default it will be 
at system default will be very bad very ugly kind of look you can use the rounded one if you're a lover of pixel experience rooms or pixel devices corners quick setting shape and also the font i'm using the ubuntu one if they would be available of oneplus slate fonts or samsung fonts or google sense that might be really good but still ubuntu is available it's quite good too if you go for other things, clocks already did a little bit of customizations and the ASIN color is not the main one because this should be available. The by default AOSP base rooms have the green kind of ASIN color which personally I don't like at all. I like the pixel one so it has the option of choosing the pixel blue color from here. I'm using the pixel ASIN color which looks great here and also the base theme includes this system default theme. I have not tried it honestly so I'm not sure about that. Quick setting style you can customize to system default, follow system or transparent might be the th might be the icons or the colors but not sure about that one too and notifications too. This is a light theme customization and some little bit of things the dark theme customizations when you clear the ASIN color, base theme, quick settings and notifications. I have not applied the dark theme that's why it's just not showing me these kind of things and I have not changed them but I can choose. Also include the settings dashboard icons customizations but other things other UI tweaks use CPU info, animations, extensions, system unit tuner nothing else like that. If you go for other things if you go to the settings it has almost all Android 11 features if you go for the things which are working here in my case Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data everything was working fine here even if you choose the hotspot option from here let me show you by going here i can simply enable a hotspot by going here let me tell you how this will work i'm using the wi-fi so if i turn on the hotspot right now from here you'll see the wi-fi and the hotspot both are working at the same time that's quite impressive i, I mean you can choose the auto rotate that will work fine screen recording option are available here too i can simply record the screen without any issues and if we try this one let me try if it is working or not as you can see it started automatically and you can see the icon is available at this status bar so i can use the screen recording also that will work fine without any issues almost everything seems fine here if you go for the dialer pad you will see the aosp dialer pad here which is not actually the google dialer pad some users will not like the google dialer pad so that's why aosp dialer pad is available by default volte etc everything seems fine and I'm, I'm not sure about that because i have not geo sim or airtel 4g in this device but it should work definitely it should work because this is a, a very cool kind of build here calls messages everything has based on aosp and if you swipe right here you have the option to customize these things by going into home settings you can customize the leftmost screen to google or shelf and if you want to choose a shelf one and let me tell you one thing more this does not come with the oneplus launcher pre-installed as i already told you the room was room had very ugly look that's why i'm not using that stock look but some guys will report me that you should use a default launcher but yes honestly the default one was not good just go and install this build you will see the default one will not good for you you will you will definitely want it to go for the other launchers like in my case i'm using the oneplus launcher if you don't know how to install this oneplus launcher system lastly on your android 11 running device i have a video on that make sure to check that also then you will be able to use these default launchers as a oneplus launcher if you want to install a pixel launcher you can use that one too but all depends up upon preferences so that's why i'm using the oneplus launcher which has the oneplus icon pack also i'm using the oneplus icon pack from the google play store and some little bit of things i have already shown you you can also use the gcam downloader from the link in the description so that you'll be able to check out the perfect gcam for your device everything i've shown you already so far this was all from today's video i hope you like it the link for this build is in the description does not come with the google apps pre-installed so install google apps on your own i'll try to tell you the g apps which you should use so this is all from today's video i hope you like it if you like it don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel if you're new here thanks for watching and goodbye